And now it's time for us to catch up our viewers on what's going on around the Red Oak Junior High with our Junior High in Review anchor, Ashlyn Jones. Glad you made it back from Oz, Ashlyn. Thanks, Katie and Leslie. Me too. Those ones are pretty strong. But seriously, guys, it's time to catch up our viewers on this month's important Junior High in Review as we look at Rockets, Theater, and the Great Wall, all in this month's Junior High in Review. We kick off this month's edition with some great news from Mr. Flanagan's science class as they recently learned about what it takes to put a rocket into space. The project taught many lessons and is one of the favorite assignments of the year by Mr. Flanagan's students. And from the photos, it looks like it was a really fun learning experience. Also, ROJH announces its 2007-2008 Red Oak Junior High School Student Council members. In order to be on the student council, students must have to meet the following requirements. Must maintain an 85 or above average, have no failing grades, no disciplinary actions, and have a teacher recommendation. Congratulations to these new members. In other good news, Red Oak Junior High has created the Great Wall of Things. It's an opportunity for students to express gratitude to faculty, teachers, parents, and their fellow students. Eighth grader Amber Bristudo hands her note of thanks to Mrs. Thomas, Grand Central Station teacher, to hang on the Great Wall of Things. Now for another informative, up close and personal, we join Hawkeye News reporter Casey Bird with her special guest this month. Welcome, Casey. Thanks, Ashlyn. We would like to welcome another special guest today, Mr. Lynch, our new assistant principal here at Red Oak Junior High. Thanks for coming today. Thank you. So where did you grow up? I grew up in Oak Cliff over in Dallas, uh, graduated from Carter High School. What college or university did you graduate from? I got my undergraduate degree at Dallas Baptist University and then I got my uh, master's degree at Texas A&M Commerce. What activities did you participate in either high school or college? Well, mostly I ran track back in high school. Uh, I did that for a couple of years, but I gave up most of my organized sports to race my motorcycle because I raced it uh, all the way through high school. And, uh, but I was in the uh, Sheriff's Posse, which is kind of a student spirit organization. What was your position prior to becoming the assistant principal? I taught technology systems at the high school. How long did you teach? Uh, well, all together I've taught uh, from elementary school through college just under 17 years. How long have you been with the Red Oak School District? Uh, just about two years. I started in January of 06. What would you consider to be the most rewarding part of your current position? Well, when you're a teacher, you affect the lives of the kids that are in your class. But as a principal or assistant principal, you affect the lives of everybody in the school. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Before I go, I would also like to send a special shout out to my fellow Red Oak Junior High cheerleaders and sponsor Miss Penny Fowler, who recently took part in the Coleman Dallas Race for the Cure. On Saturday, October 20th, several members of the Red Oak Junior High cheerleading team, along with Miss Fowler, got up early and met at 5 o'clock a.m. at the Junior High to participate in the 25th annual Coleman Dallas Race for the Cure. The event took place at North Park Center in Dallas. The crowd was estimated to be between 25 and 30,000 people as the cheerleaders walked the 1K. Collectively, the cheerleaders raised in excess of $1,000 and their registration fees were generously donated by JJA, Inc., a company owned by one of the cheerleaders' fathers. All the girls that participated expressed what a great time they had. Ms. Fowler is also planning on other community events for the girls to participate in this year. Congratulations to Ms. Fowler and her cheerleaders for helping make a difference. We also wanted to send congratulations to our Hawkeye News Junior High sponsor, Ms. Katrina Knight, who also took part in the Komen Race for the Cure as well. Ms. Knight, along with other ROISD teachers and staff, participated and helped raise even more money for the fight against cancer. Thanks again, Red Oak Junior High, for watching, and I'll see you after the holidays for another edition of Up Close and Personal. Back to you, Ashlyn, in the studio. Well, that wraps it up for us, ladies. See you next month. Happy holidays. Thanks, Ashlyn, and a happy holidays to you as well. See you next month.